私たちに用意してくれてます。私たちに用意してくれてます。私たちに用意してくれてます。私たちに用意してくれてます。私たちに用意してくれてます。私たちに用意してくれてます。私たちに用意してくれてます。私たちに用意してくれてます。私たちに
もう一箇所聖書の言葉を読みたいですけど、エゼキエルの36の25節です。Like、verse, 私が今日水をあななたたの上に振りかけるときあなた方はすべての汚れから清められる。私はすべての偶像の汚れからあなたを清め、あなた方に新しい心を与え、あなた方のうちに新しい霊を授ける。私はあなた方の体をから石の心を取り除き、あなた方に肉の心を与える。私の霊をあなた方のうちに授け、私の掟を従ってはいません、その定めを守り行わせる。Because 36, 25 to 27:I will sprinkle clean water on you, and you will be clean.I will cleanse you from all your impurities and from all your idols.I will give you new hearts and put a new spirit in you.I will remove your,、uh, from you your、uh, heart of stone and give you a heart of flesh, and I will put my spirit in you and move to follow my、uh, decrees and be careful to keep my laws.Amen. Amen. イスラエルの人たちは、神様の約束の言葉によってカナンという約束の地に入ることに進んでいたんです。And, and were, uh, God, で、そしてモーセと、ね、リーダーであるアロンはこの12人の石膏たち、いわゆる偵察隊をこのカナンの地に送りました。And Moses and Aaron、uh, sent、uh, the twelve、uh, spies、uh, into the land、uh, to see uh, uh, the situation.、ね、and so they came back with the report.、ね、so they were on the start line, they were like in the start line and, and trying to see where are we going. これはもうとっても悪い場所だって言うんです。And then 10 people who came back,、uh, other than uh, uh, Joshua and Caleb, Caleb. まるでわ、まあ、悪い場所というよりもいい場所なんだけど、実はあそこにはもう背が高い人がいて、またいろんな問題があってというふうに問題の方をモーセとアロンに言います。And they came back with a bad report that it is a good land, amazing land, but it's just so many huge giants, people there, and that we cannot go there. でも、ヨシアとカレブは全く違う報告をします。And Joshua and Caleb gave a totally different report. あそこは神様が言ってた通り約束の地だ。This is truly a promise that God has shown us. We can go there.、まあねね、のの a lot of people in Israel they did not believe in Joshua and Caleb, but they rather believed in ten people who came with, back with an unfaithful uh, uh, lack of faith report. What does it show us in our life? You know, when we are at the start line, this new year and you know, for this new season, it's not really important what our、uh, condition, our body, our life, but it's important what we are looking at, what we're seeing.、ねここね、so today we want to learn from this story the perspective of God in faith.、ね神様が見せようとしていることを見たいんです。I want to see what God is trying to show us. 一つ目はこれです。The first thing is this. 間違った思いのフィルターを外すということ。Remove the filter, the filter of wrong ideas. 間違った思いで私たちが見るなら、見るものが全く違ってくるんですよね。When we things, uh, see things through the, the wrong filter, we will totally see something wrong. すごく不思議です。二人は、よいちだ、神様用意してるって言ったのに。It's really interesting how these two people said, this is an amazing land. 同じ場所、同じ旅、同じシチュエーションを見てるのに、この十人はどう言いましたか But these ten people, they went to the same place, same trip, as they went together, and how, what did they see? You know, when you care,、uh, uh, look at this carefully, when they say, like,、uh, they are strong, you know, I can understand、まあ、that. みんな賢そうに見えない you know, like when you are about to have this exam,、uh, um, like entrance exam for college, ね、I remember when I was in college, 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 I was in
Everybody else around you looks smarter, and when you're at the competition or something, like everybody else looks stronger. You know, when you stand in front of people and speak in front of people, everybody else looks stronger. You know, I, I do understand that. Uh, when we uh, look to detail on the verse 32, you know, it says in Japanese that, that this land were gonna eat the eat up the people. What kind of what kind of land is that? The eating land. You know that the land will open its mouth and you just swallow the people. I don't I don't get this. You know, you're going to be eating up by Nagoya. You know, if you go to try the business or you try to share the gospel, this whole land is going to eat you up. What do you mean? Uh, look at this carefully. And verse 33. We seem like grasshopper in our own eyes and we look the same to them. Mm. You know, they sure see us, saw us as a grasshopper. What is like grasshopper? You know, maybe Israel's you know, animals are just bigger, so it could like this. You know, I'm like 186 feet tall. And so it's like, you know, more like 18 times bigger. You know, for Israel, it's like, like my height. So like 18 times taller than me. What? That is, that is like Godzilla, the kaiju. You know, this uh, land has this kaiju. Their mind were attacked. Their mind was the issue. When we have this lack of faith, this Problems seem so big. The enemy, the issue, it seems so huge. But is it really true? You know, you could see that it might be a little bigger than you are. But what we really need to know but his promise, God's promise is more sure than that. God is bigger than the problem. So for them, it's always the, the issue, the problem is so big. The enemy is so strong. They always put the emphasis on the negatives. Things. But today we want to change this. God is so big. I don't hear a lot of amen here. Isn't it true? God is so powerful. His love is so big. The God who leads you will lead you strong to the next season. And when I came to Nagoya 14 years ago, uh, about a year ago when I came to Nagoya, uh, my mother church sent me to this land, Nagoya, and go see how it is like. You know, I felt like I'm the Joshua and Caleb. You know, I went and visited a lot of different churches. You know, I went to this one church. And 
pastor gave me this kind of pity face that you know oh you are pastor sent you to Nagoya? You know, I was from the uh, countryside, Shiga. You know, just coming to Nagoya was just so exciting. You know, I have this buffalo wings and like miso katsu. You know, we, they have subways. They have subways. There's a subway here. You know, where I grew up, there is no people at the station. That could be exciting for some people. All these open land from Shiga, but I came to Nagoya and everybody says, like, why Nagoya? You know, I'm so glad that my mind was not attacked by that. You know, if I believe that, oh, this land, Nagoya, is going to eat me up. You know, I could have just gone back to my house and just, you know, follow my father. Because my father was a business owner, I could just follow him. You know, I didn't come because I didn't have any job. I came because he gave me the promise. His promise for you is surely bigger. And God is doing something amazing here in Nagoya. So I love Nagoya. I love Aichi. You guys okay? You know, don't say, like, oh, my wife. You don't say, like, oh, Nagoya. We love this Nagoya. I have like the Kansai language and also like Aichi. I want you to be proud that you are living here in Nagoya. You are here to change this city. God has sent you to change this nation, change this city. I want you to have that perspective. So when you have this perspective, when you have this mind, God will move. Tell your, tell your neighbors, God, uh, Nagoya is a good place. Aichi is a good place. We have to hear the right word from God. We have to listen to the right word from Him. We have to uh, uh, put aside this uh, lack of fa uh, this mind lacking faith. And we should just straight re uh, receive directly from God.Romans In Romans, it says, uh, consequently, faith comes from hearing the message, and the message is heard, uh, message heard through the word of Christ. Amen. The faith comes through the word of God. The word of the lo God loves me. God cares about me. And don't put any filter you take off those filters and oh, I'm not smart, I come from here. You put that filter on the cross. And you just directly receive it from God and say, The season, God is going to start something new. You know, you might say, like, oh, I made this mistake, I have the flaws. But put that filter off and put it to Jesus. And God is the one who works as He says. Why? Because the Word of God is alive. It's just not a word, but it's a living word. The, the Word of Bible is a book of books. It's a word with the Breath is with the Holy Spirit of God. 
this one word can change the whole life. So when you wake up or before you go to bed, you put the word of God in your heart. Because that will make your spirit alive. Amen. The word of God works alive. Second point is this. And from a hard heart to a soft and humble one. You know, some people might say, oh, Pastor, but when you get that, those negative voices. You know, some people say, like, oh, like, I know there's a promise of God, but like, it's hard to receive that sometimes. And Moses and Aaron said, like, do not be afraid. And Joshua and Caleb said, do not be afraid. But you get afraid. This is a new place. You're praying for this new people, new friend, and sharing the gospel to a new friend. And are, you, are you like that? No, I'm like that too. <laughs> The bigger the vision is, the harder it gets to start. There. But God is not judging you. He's not telling you why you're afraid. But this is the important part. But I want your heart to be the hardened heart from to a softened and humble heart. Uh, have you ever played uh, baseball? You know, uh, I was a sports major in my college, university. And now, you know, I used to have a, a sports major and now I'm teaching about the Bible. You know, God can use anybody. And I learned from these top level coaches. You know, I heard, uh, learned this, this jumping and uh, athleticism. えっと、えっと、I learned this all, all the tracks and fields from the medalists. Everything the field and tra tracks and field and swimming from the, all the Olympic medalists. But I was learning this baseball one time. Do you like baseball? Yeah. Uh, well, anyways. あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あの、あ
I can see where the ball comes in from. It might be too simple. But it's the same way for us. When we humble ourselves, lower ourselves before God, we'll see. People might lower you. Maybe you get humble. But when you humble before God, he will, you will see the, the guidance of God. You know, when he lowers you, we feel not comfortable. But God wants you to see Amen. where He is leading you. Because He is leading you. Don't say only hallelujah when things are going right, but say hallelujah when things are going wrong. What is God trying to say to me? When God is lowering you, pray that you can see His guidance. The Bible said he was in Ezekiel. I give you a new heart, put a new spirit in you, remove your heart of stone and give you the heart of flesh. You know, when you are st uh, stubborn, you have these symptoms. The same in marriage. I thank you very much for my first anniversary. <laughs> I'm very happy. The first anniversary. It's been 23 years. <laughs> when we have this stubborn heart, the heart of stone, we have these symptoms. Uh, we, don't have, we lack in thanks. And we lack in gratitude. When we lack in gratitude to God, you know, you say, like, you take grat for granted what God did to you. Like, why is it raining today? And the forecast says it's sun. You know, you start to live that way. And the second uh, heart, uh, stubborn heart, will make you uh, lack in awe. You don't have, you don't be moved anymore. You know, when your wife brings you coffee, it's like, oh, thank you. You know, when she gave me a coffee yesterday, <laughs> I told her, oh, you gave me a coffee, made a coffee for me. Thank you. And but like, it, it makes me so teary. You know, if you pay something for somebody, you somebody might give you coffee. You know, the Starbucks, Starbucks you know, if you don't pay to the Starbucks, nobody will give you a coffee. Amen. Couples. <laughs> uh, so, so when you lack in, uh, you will start lacking in joy. You know, you come to service, you know, oh, I can come to service, I can serve, I can worship, I can worship together. God wants to give, uh, take away this heart of stone and God wants to give you this softened heart of flesh. When we look to the cross, when we look to his cross, everything is not going to be taken for granted. Everything is not going to be taken for granted. And when he has took the cross, and he has taken the sacrifice for our sins, we made this mistake, we made sin, and he, yet he took the cross for us. And yet he tells us, I love you. When we look at the cross, we will be restored the new love again. We will be able to humble ourselves. 
You don't have to you know, humble yourself, lower yourself, and go, oh, I have to humble myself. But the more Amen. you worship him, the more higher you uh, put his name higher, we'll be able to humble ourselves. You'll be able to see his guidance. In pain, in hardship, you'll be able to build the love of God. And that's what Jesus gives us. In 14.10, and they were encouraged, do not be afraid, God is with us. And the, uh, the congregation didn't say amen. And those people tried to stone Moses and Aaron to death. You know how hard is this stone? I don't want you to throw any stone to me. When God is, when, when I tell you, like, yes, go. God is trying to work. What should we do? You know, sometimes we'll kind of doubt. But we should say, that's right. That's right. That's right. That's right. The curling, the woman's curling. Olympics. When we try to see the vision of God, we'll say, God could do it. God can do that. Amen. That's right. Tell your neighbor, that's right. Amen. This is what I try to say the, from the hardened heart to a softened heart. Part three. Filled with a new spirit. Minsu but because my servant Caleb has a different spirit and follows me wholeheartedly, I will bring him into the land we went to, and his descendants will inherit it. It's a good point. They took 40 years to get there to the promised land, but it was actually a trip that could be made in 11 days. You know, there's a uh, the family mart right there, that, but we can, you know, get there like in a minute or half. You know, if somebody said, oh, I took there to go there, it's just three years. I tried to get a coffee at the family mart, it took me three years to get it there. You know, it was not a so long trip, but God has promised for them, but they took 40 years. But they had this mind, this stubborn heart. But God is trying to give you a new spirit. A new Holy Spirit. When we are touched by that Spirit, our perspective change. How we feel change. And you will be able to say, this is a good land. Because he has a different spirit. Different spirit. Twenty-four it says, uh, because Caleb has a different spirit. As a Christian, we have a different spirit. This Holy Spirit. The spirit of not fear, but with of strong uh, strength. So now we have uh, this prayer room in the third floor. ね、24時間か分かんないけど、あの、僕は起きてないので24時間夜はいないけど、<笑> 
ぜひ祈りに入ってください。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうそうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。そうですね。It was a coffee shop, and so like, I couldn't do that. But the Holy Spirit kind of told me, like, don't say just, I'm preparing, praying for you. You know, the Holy Spirit said, like, why don't you pray? You're a pastor. That's why you're, you have this wise cafe downstairs. You know, I feel like he kind of you know, struck me in the head. And I feel like he, his head. Not like bone, but like just a little bit. Lightly. And by the late, uh, I've been led by the Holy Spirit. You know, I'm sorry, I forgot. I can pray because I'm a pastor. I'm sorry, I just said, like, I'll be praying for you. Like, can I take a moment to pray for your leg? You know, I found an area right there, so, like, oh, he's a Actually, a pastor too, so like、uh, he's in Tokyo right now. So they said, like, Oh, let's pray for him. You know, he was closing his eyes, but I can, you can see actually this kind of opening because he d o n t know what he, we're going to do. And you know, I said, like, Lord,、uh, he has a sore leg right here. I'm sorry, I didn't、um, pray for him twice, but let me pray right now. Uh, he needs his healing. In Jesus' name I pray. In Jesus' name I pray. And pray for this healing of the Holy Spirit. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. And he said, like, Oh, amen. And I told him, like, How was it? I feel like it's getting warm. I feel warm. You know, they do have pain. But... You know, like, I, I texted him, like, I pray for you today, so, like, how's it going right now? You know, I'm still praying right now. You know, he didn't、uh, check me back. You know, I felt like, oh, maybe I did too much. <laughs>、uh, maybe it's not healed. But the, early in the morning, next day, he texted me back.、Uh, sorry, I could have texted you back last night. My leg is good. Thank you for your prayer. I'll come to church again. Ah, thank God, I prayed. Give a little bit of praise. Why, why am I talking about this? You know, when we go out to the world, we feel like everybody is stronger. We are like a grasshopper. But from God's eyes, in God's eyes, the, Satan, the problem、Amen. is like a grasshopper. In God's eyes,、Amen. the enemy trying to stop you is like a grasshopper. We can stomp over those grasshoppers that are enemies with God. I'm sorry, I'm too excited. But God is living inside of you as the Holy Spirit. Are you afraid? Does everybody look bigger than you? But God is even bigger. And we want to spend this new season with a new、uh, this wind of the Holy Spirit. I'd like to finish this verse. In the last days, God says, I will pour out my spirit on all people. Your sons and daughters will prophesy,、uh, your young men will see visions, your old men will dream dreams. 
But I'll see the visions, not the dreams. It's still not old yet. Anyways, could you stand up? I'd like to pray for God. Talked about Joshua and Caleb. New perspective we want to move on. Uh, I want you to stand at the start line what we are looking at. God is so excited for your future. God is so excited for you. Can you close our eyes? Maybe, maybe you see yourself like a grasshopper. Everything looks bigger than you. But that's not God's perspective. God's a big one. He's work walking with you. If you have this unfaithful perspective, this mind, the Holy Spirit will take it away. I want you to breathe and inhale this new spirit. The Holy Spirit will guide you. The living God is alive in you. As through this message today, if you want to receive this help, this new spirit today, can you raise your hand? Your hands? If you want to see how God sees, if you see yourself that you know that you were stubborn, but if you want soften the heart today, can you raise your hand? Let's pray. Uh, Lord, I welcome you in my heart. Just open my hearts to you. Lord, give me the spirit of Josh and Caleb. Lord, let me see what you see through the Holy Spirit. People will say things if the hardship might come, but let me believe what like Joshua and Caleb say, uh, uh, believed. That you are bigger than our issues. Let me live a different spirit. Give me a strength uh, to pray for somebody. A strength uh, to testify you. We will, might be afraid, but I will not continue to do that Let me see how you work in us. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. I want to ask you this. Do you need Jesus today? Maybe you've been always looking with your own perspective. God sees a future in you. That's why he took the cross and became a friend for you. He has proved himself as God and died and rose and and he is in us as the Holy Spirit. Oh, I was so negative. I so had this unbelief. But today I want to open my eyes and I want to believe in you. Lord, teach me how I am loved by you. If that's you today, can you lift your hand? Thank you. Thank you. If you need God today, if you want to walk by faith, that's you today. If you want to receive baptism today, I'll pray for you. Lord God, Lord, open my heart to you. Lord, open my eyes. I thank you that you see in this possibility and potential in me. Lord, forgive me all my sins. I believe that we can be, I am, sons and daughters of God. Uh, Lord, pour out your Holy Spirit. Or Lord, lead me to the eternity. In Jesus' name I pray. Amen. 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 Give our Lord a big praise.
Uh, let's see the clips together. Let's read it together. English. Dear Jesus, thank you for loving me. Come into my heart and lead my life. Amen. Oh Lord, we praise. Amen. Let's see in his perspective this week. So your neighbors, see in faith. Let's worship together. <laughs> 